years ago, um, there were some growers that they were not interested in using the airplanes. We had some, some chemical that uh, we had left and we sprayed half of the fellow's field and, uh, and he, he allowed us. He said it wasn't gonna work. Come harvest time, the part of the field that we didn't spray, he could go down and back before he had to empty the combine and the side of the field that we did spray, he couldn't make it all the way to the end of the field before he had to empty the combine. And uh, after that, he was sold on, on the fungicide use. Since then, we've sprayed every acre um, that he grows every year consistently, and uh, they see the, the benefit now. Um, it, it, was a, it was a hard sell at first, but uh, once he saw the proof, they, they, they were sold on it. We have a short window, especially in the Midwest, um, to apply these fungicides. And the airplanes, they can, uh, we can cover a lot of ground uh, in a short amount of time. So the timing of the applications, you know, is, is critical sometimes. We can cover uh, quite a few acres in a day. So we have the advantage of getting there, getting it done, and, and getting back and getting on to the next grower. Th those are a lot of the big advantages of, of aerial application. Um, we don't drive through the, the uh, fields. We don't cause compaction. You know, we're not affecting pollination by rubbing on the tassels in the corn. Um, we're just not driving the plants over. So uh, there's certain things that ground rigs do better um, certain times of the year that, that they need to be in the field. And there's certain chemicals that we don't put out with an airplane, but uh, in general, you know, that's where the airplane fits into the picture.